Hey guys, Dante Free here, and today uh, we are back for the 2018 19 um, predictions, including the Premier League Championship of who's going to come up, FA and League Cup, PFA and Golden Boot winner, and the Champions League and the Europa League. Uh, as you can see, I'm out in Mallorca, not my bedroom. Um, yeah, it's very hot um, today, um, like 32 degrees, something like that. So, um, let's get on with the predictions that's what we're here for and um i'm gonna start with the premier league and um in 20th um position is cardiff now cardiff have not um strengthened enough apart from c morrison and um josh murphy and i think gunvinson they are the key players that they can keep hold of them well, apart from josh murphy who they've signed if they keep hold of c morrison and um Goodmanson, I think they can get some points on the ball. However, their start and their end of the season is not great, and that will not help their confidence to stay up. So, and um, that's why I'm predicting them to come last. In 19th place, I've got Southampton. Again, their discipline is not great. 63 um, yellow cards and two reds. Uh, their home form and their away form last season was not great. They only won seven games and only nicked it with a 1-0 win over Swansea. That's all they did. And um, they haven't improved their squad unity. Um, and they've not got that. Apart from Gabbiadini, um, they're doing well to hold on with Forster as well. Um, so... But I think their key player is Nathan Redmond, um, the left back. But apart from that, they have not got well. They have got that um, Croatian centre back from Mujin Gladbach. But apart from that, their squad has not improved. So, so for me, they're gonna finish nineteenth. Okay, so in eighteenth, filling up the final relegation spot is um, Huddersfield. Now. They um, strengthened a lot last season, and I think that's how they um, stayed up. However, this se season they haven't really strengthened, and um, so even though David Wagner, I do rate him. They don't score a lot of goals though. They need a striker, and um, I don't know if um, we uh, address, but their um, key key player is a defender in Terence in Golo. Um, so yeah, they don't score a lot of goals. But they do score them the most at the end and the other sides of half time. So it's just before half time or just after half time. But still, it's not a lot. They've only scored um, 15 in the first half and then they've got 13 in the second half. So that's not great. The discipline is terrible as well 62 yellows and three reds. And um, the first two games, Chelsea Man City. That's not a great start for them, and that won't help the confidence. So, um, yeah, that's um, why I'm predicting Huddersfield to come 18th. Okay, so next is um, 17th place, and I've gone for Brighton on this one. Pascal Gross is, not for me, their key player in the central of midfield, passing the ball into the strikers. Um, but they have strengthened. The discipline is not bad, um, as the other teams. They have 54 yellows and two reds. Um, but their away form needs a lot of work. Only two wins and five drops, um, making 11 points on the road. And they've made like more than that at home, even by winning. So they need to um, also improve on goals from set pieces, as they say, have scored, um, conceded 21 of them. Their fixtures, um, tough start, Watford, Man U, Liverpool. Um, Man U Liverpool is going to be a tough test, even though Liverpool have very strong for Man U. They beat them last year. Can they do it again? For me, no, they can't. So um, that's why I'm predicting them to come 17th. Okay, um, in 16th place is Bournemouth. Um, so Bournemouth are a kind of team that like to leave it late, scoring a good 14 in the last 15 minutes and 11 between 16. One and 75 minutes um, but they're not very good at starting so if teams get many goals in the first half I think they will struggle and um, their away form what's that? away form is not great either and um, only four wins on the chart and um, they need to um, if they're not gonna do well away we need to keep boosting on their home advantage and um, they got some good players of Begovic King 
uh, cook. Both cooks are good. So I think they have the potential to stay up, but I think they're going to leave it a bit late. So that's why I'm going um, to predict Bournemouth to come 16th. Okay, next I have got 15th place being Watford. Uh, Adamiel de Corey was their top scorer last season from midfield. So that's just strikers aren't great. So um, if the strikers aren't great, they've sold their best player, in my opinion, Richardson to Everton. But they like to get going quick. Eight goals in the first 15 minutes and 14 in the last um, 15 minutes. So they don't really like to leave it middle. They like to get it gone. They get, like to get it going quickly and over or get it going at the end and win the match. Um, but the corner, the, um, the set pieces, uh, 17 conceded, 9 scored. The, they got 11 wins last season. I think they've got enough talent to stay up and um, not to... The grass is um, good for them if they can get going on that. Um, the opposition will not like be used to it as um, they had the best last season. But that doesn't mean anything. It could um, could mean make a difference. Uh, the home form is going to be interesting, and that's why I'm predicting Watford to come 15. Okay, next I've got um, Crystal Palace in 14th position. Uh, I think Crystal Palace will come 14th um, just because I don't think they'll hold on for Wilfred Zaha. I think if if he does have a release course, one of the big clubs will trigger that and that means he'll be gone. I think they'll struggle though. Uh, they didn't score any goals in the first five games, which um, means they're slow starters. Um, however, they do like to leave it late. Um, 15 goals in the last 15 minutes and... Um, Roy Hodgson, I actually think is a decent manager for them. He's thoroughly liked, uh, unlike Sam um, Allardyce at um, Everton last year. Um, one of the flags said from the terraces to the dugout won Roy Hodgson, even though they all hated it after Iceland. Um, they're disciplined though. No red cards, but 72 yellows. So it means they don't, when they get a yellow, they don't like to rush it. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm predicting Crystal Palace to come 14th. Okay, 13th place, I've got Fulham. Fulham leave it late, okay? In the first half, they, in the end of the first half, they can scored 16, and in the second half, they all scored 22. They have strengthened though, is that's why they're gonna get high. If they didn't strengthen, I think I would have predicted them to go straight back down with Cardiff and um, they got um, Tom Kearney, uh, Mawson, Mitrovic, Shirley, Shane. There's a lot of great signings. Um, obviously, Shirley on a two-year loan, probably going to make that permanent. And Chambers on a one-year loan from Arsenal. So they have strengthened, and that is what teams need to do. They're disciplined now. 82 yellow cards and four reds. Not great um, stats, so you, that will cost in the Premier League. Um, Sessegnon, obviously, great player. He's deserved to be in the Premier League for a long time now. And um, just from the strength they've got a great squad, and that's why they're going to come 13th. Okay, in 12th place, I've got Wolves um, promoted as champions in the uh, championship. That's a tongue twister, that one. Um, but um, they have strengthened from the squad of... Portugal, they have like a good eight Portuguese players, one being Moutinho, um, who's actually capped a lot of times from um, Portugal, so he will have experience to the team. Neves is a um, great talented player, and uh, they've just got a great great team in general, really. Um, so I think that'll be enough power. The discipline is not great. Um, four red cards, um, 69 yellows. Um, but they leave it late as well, like Fulham. But they can score at the start, and they actually they kind of spread it out a bit, but mainly in the later stages that they score more. Uh, they score a lot from set pieces, and but concede a lot as well. So that's why Worlds will finish at twelve. Okay, so in eleventh, I've got Burnley. They had a phenomenal season last season, but normally, like Chelsea, when they won the league. Europe got in the way and they came to and I think they'll get in the way. I'm really strengthening their squad apart from bringing Gibson and Joe Hart but Joe Hart is a major major bad signing. I mean did you see him against them? Did they not watch him against them? 
and they've signed them permanently. What a mistake. And that's why um, Burnley will struggle. The discipline, no um, red cards and um, 65 yellows. Um, they're quite good at um, set pieces, uh, but we'll say average. Um, Chris Wooded for me is a key player, scoring goals for fun. He got um, 11 last season. And they leave it late to score, scoring 19 in the last half an hour. So that's why I'm predicting um, Burnley to come top of the bottom half. Okay guys, in 10th position I'm going for my team, Newcastle. They have signed Rondon, Muto, Scar and Ki Sun Yun. Kennedy and Dabrafka um, kind of don't count because they were here last season. But Rafa could walk out the, wind, out the door if um, Ashley doesn't get out of the club. He wants him to stay and then Rafa stays at the next owner. He will go if you're staying Ashley. But however, our, our wins, 12 of them, our losses, 18 of them, our draws, 8 of them. So we need to work on winning games, but our, the second half of our um, year was better. Uh, we won like a oh, good 8 on the bounce and dropped it in the last 5 but got Chelsea. So um, yeah, our key player at the back, our captain, Jamal Lasalle's who should be called up for England. And when the, you only conceded three when we weren't there, uh, was against Manchester City. So he's he's proven that we need him. So that's why I'm predicting my team, Newcastle, to come 10th. Okay, in ninth position, I've gone for Leicester City. Um, and that's where they finished last season. And um, the key players for me are Jamie Vardy and Harry, Harry Maguire. More Jamie Vardy as he'll lead the line. And um, Harry Maguire at the back because he is a strong and defender. Club well, good manager. Um, he was brilliant with Southampton, getting them eighth and then less than ninth last season. And I think that will this day. Um, they more, they've got um, more um, goals in the first half at the start um, than in the second half, more at the end. So between like the half an hour range of half time, they're not great. The discipline, 52 yellows and five reds. So not the best. Um, they just need a um, new system in my opinion. I mean, they might get higher. Um, but that's why Leicester will finish ninth. Okay, so in eighth position, just outside the Europa League spots, I've gone for West Ham United. Um, they have spent a lot of money um, spending it on Felipe Anderson, Jack Wilshire, um, a couple of other front of Yarmolenko but they have invested because their owners they were really mad at them for um, not buying any good players and having a lack of form but now they've done that I think they'll be happy with them and I think eighth they would take that instead of 30th last season but now West Ham since the book part got rid of Pyatt have been on a slump and um, but um, I think they'll be going back up uh, but, but they're very dirty 73 yellows and two reds not great at um, defending free kicks or game corners um, so yeah that's why we will come 8th okay guys in 7th place just outside well they could still get um, Europe League uh, but I'm gone for Everton um, because that's where they've really finished um, majority however I think Jordan Pickford will help them a lot get a lot of clean sheets uh, but they have spent a lot of money on a weird pair player Richardson. I know they were reunite they've been reunited after Watford. New sort um, new manager Marco Silva has came in but I think it doesn't mean they're gonna challenge. And so that's why I'm going seventh for Everton. Okay, in sixth place we have Chelsea. Um now they have sold uh, a few players well they haven't so they haven't really they've got a new manager and I think they're just Courtois could leave, Hazard could leave, um, but that means that that William could leave. Um, so there's still loads of outgoings. Their front three could be gone. Maratas could be out the door. It's it's just they're just turning into like a um, West Ham with just uh, star players as Kante and Aspilicueta. If you're being honest, but the big question: What will the new manager do? do if they can keep hold of Hazard they might challenge Heiser higher but Hazard will want to go to Real Madrid um, with Courtois so I think that's where they're gonna come sixth okay in fifth position just outside the um, Champions League spot I'm going for the runners-up Manchester United 
which I've been predicting to come first every time I've done these and this year something's told me no because um, they haven't signed now it's strengthened where Arsenal, uh, City and Liverpool have all strengthened um, so the discipline's not great um, but uh, the key players for me Paul Pogba and David De Gea they're the two balls they haven't the thing is they haven't they need a defender because Smalling and Jones is not good enough and um, that's why I feel they are going to come fifth as um, Ed Woodward does not want to pay any more money after spending far too much on two players so in fourth place I'm going for the fourth place specialists Arsenal new manager new season new dawn new new st chapter for Arsenal it brought pretty much Dortmund in Socrates um, Leno Torreira and a few other players in I think they've strengthened the squad well and they can start challenging the Champions League uh, so that's why I have gone for Arsenal in fourth okay so our next team third position Spurs uh, the key player well we've got a few Harry Kane Deli Ali, Eriksson and Hume Min Son. Uh, but Hume Min Son's future might be in doubt. I, I, he has to go to war, um, well, do military service uh, for a good 18 months, something like that. But their key player is Harry Kane up front. Yes, they have um, Aldo Villa's future currently um, stable. Pochettino did well. Can they do well in the Champions League? They did. They got last 16, but then I think they'll get quarter finals this year. And um, just hope Europe don't get in the way. New stadium as well. Um, well, not really. New, well, upgraded stadium instead of. It's still going to be White Hart Lane, just not the White Hart Lane they remember. So um, that's why uh, Spurs will finish third. Okay, so second, I'm going for the champions. Manchester City could have been the Invincibles if they could beat Liverpool and their rivals. However, they have. They've got the same stats home and away. Key key player is Kevin De Bruyne. Um, he can shoot, he can pass, he can do whatever he wants basically. And um, I'd be scared of him. They're a late team though. They scored 25 minute um goals in the last 15 minutes. Um, but yeah, but the title has to go to Liverpool. Uh, I think they'll break the five year of blue. And um, Liverpool, Mo Salah, Mane, Firmino, Keita, Keita, sorry, Fabinho, Alisson, all strong players. I think maybe they could have one more sign if they're here, but there's only one day as I'm filming this. It might be finished as it's finished as um, when it goes off. But uh, they did well in the Champions League coming uh, runners off apart from Karius, um, who was a big idiot as Ramos was with Salah. I think if Salah stayed on they would have won the Champions League um, but he got 44 goals that just says how well he does. Uh, top goal scorer last season and um, yeah that's Liverpool to win the league. Um, yeah so that's the Premier League um, predictions wrapped. Okay so coming up from the championship I'm gonna go for West Brom uh, as champions, even though they had a slow start, Newcastle had a slow start and they won the championship only on the last day. So um, I think West Brom will prove and Dwight Gale going to uh, West Brom already won it in the past two years and I think that will help. Swansea, I don't think they're a championship team at all, they are definitely a Premier League team and I think they'll come up as runners up. And I think Leeds will win the playoffs and finally get um, their way back up. FA Cup now, I'm going for Manchester City. I think it's time they actually won the FA Cup. Um, the closest they have been is when they lost the Wigan 1-0. Last year they lost the Wigan 1-0. I think it'll be an easier route. Maybe maybe struggle in the last two rounds like they did. Um, but yeah, I think it's been coming. City should win the FA Cup. And League Cup, I'm going for Liverpool. I think it's time they won it again. They've obviously got the best team of their lives for a long time. Um, but basically, I think they're going to be fine. And, um, yeah. Um, so, sticking in England before we head into um, uh, European competitions. PFA Player of the Year, I will go for Kevin De Bruyne. The Golden Boot, Mo Salah. Same as last year. Champions League, I'm going for Bayern Munich. 
Barcelona, I can't see them doing it this year. Real Madrid, obviously, we can with Ronaldo. Juventus, don't think they'll do it. I think that the goalkeeper will let too many in. Um, Buffon was strong. PSG could be in with the champ. I think Bayern Munich will do it. Um, only if Lewandowski will say. Uh, Europa League, Arsenal. Uh, I think Aubameyang not playing last season was very, very crucial to why they got knocked up by Fletty. Depends who comes down from the Champions League because we don't know the Champions League draw yet. Um, anybody could come down. I mean, Atletico Madrid, I don't think it'll happen though because they'll stay up. Atletico Madrid come back down and bite Arsenal again. But Arsenal at the minute look the strongest and that's why I'm predicting them to win the Europa League. Okay, so that concludes the video. What's your thoughts um, on my predictions? Comment below. Remember to like, subscribe, comment for more videos and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.